Hi, I'm Mary Elizabeth Saad with Corn Ferry. Corn Ferry is a global organizational advisory firm and I work within the executive search practice for the industrial markets. I think we would all agree that the level of talent within a company has a direct correlation to the success of a company. But what about leading in a time of adversity? Uh, what are the skills? What are the competencies? How do they shift for leading in a crisis? Whether you're looking for your next opportunity in your career or whether you're looking to hire talent for your company, Corn Ferry has identified the 12 competencies that are critical to success uh, in this time of crisis. Let me share them with you. Number one, the competency of being action oriented. This is being able to lead without all kinds of unnecessary planning and being able to create a culture that identifies opportunities and, and new, new challenges. Number two, managing ambiguity. And this is being calm, uh, conveying stability and embracing change without having all the information. Number three, and I might argue, perhaps we put it at the top of the list at number one. So in no particular order. Number three, the competency of courage, demonstrating courage. And this is taking the heat, um, confronting problems, delivering difficult messages, and creating a culture of appropriate risk taking. Number four, being resilient. This is confidence under pressure. Uh, this is positivity and persistence in adversity. Number five, decision quality. Of course, while always important, in a crisis, the competency of decision quality is a reflective, uh, a re reflection of combining analysis, wisdom, experience, and judgment all at the same time. Number six, the competency of instilling trust. Showing consistency, actions match words, you show respect, you're fair, you're truthful. Number seven, the competency of planning and aligning. This is conveying clear objectives, ensuring cross-organizational coordination. Number eight, building networks. While always important, of course, having strong formal and informal networks and drawing on multiple connections for ideas. Number nine, managing complexity, not unlike managing ambiguity that we mentioned earlier, managing complexity. This is approaching problem solving from a, a systems perspective um, and help others see root cause. Number 10, ensuring accountability. There is a sense of urgency to all of this, but certainly ensuring accountability while always important, ensuring accountability with a sense of urgency being able to follow through on your own commitments and ensuring that others do, and really being the demonstrator of that as a leader. Number 11, the competency of driving vision and purpose is particularly important. A, a leader's gotta be able to cast a vision and really create inspiring, optimistic pictures of, of where's the future, um, even when it's not clear, and help others feel like they're a part of it, help them feel like they can relate to it. Number 12, communicating effectively. Uh, this is being able to anticipate challenges, uh, synthesize information from multiple sources, and help bring clarity to others. So there are your 12 most important competencies for leading in a crisis. Whether or not a leader is prepared for a crisis, their followers expect to be given guidance and sound leadership during a crisis. They wanna know there's a firm hand on the tiller. So during this time, time is the enemy. So be prepared to operate with a clear head and make quick decisions.